Hi folks, welcome back for more. Let's play Back to the Future the Game, Episode 3. The story so far. Still searching for a means to gain an audience with Citizen Brown, Marty has been confronted with the consequences of his and Doc's actions in 1931. His girlfriend is a punk rock rebel, and his parents have lapsed back to their original selves and then some, and Biff has been brainwashed into the nicest guy in the world. Things aren't looking good for Marty. It's time he gear up and start causing some trouble to get Citizen Brown's attention. And yeah, just to make it perfectly clear, we want to break all three of those major rules that Biff Tannen was busted for breaking so we can get into a meeting with Citizen Brown. Help. Yep. no time like the present, so let's see if we can get busted with some contraband. And the contraband happens to be booze, or at least it should be. So let's talk with Lorraine again. Mom? Who's still happy to see us? Uh, Mom, are you uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad, Mom, knock it off, you two. Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Hmm. Lorraine? No! Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't suffocating me all the time. Was that an admission? An admission of how smothered I am by you? Wow. So, she almost pulled out... It looks like she had a flask, but she had to hide it when that camera saw her. So let's block that camera. Attention. And the way we block that camera... The easiest way possible. Knock a weather vane in front of it. Ah, uh, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes. Do do do. Yep. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin. Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. <laughs> but it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. Huh. I'm sorry, that's just kind of sad, really. Yeesh. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again, Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Well. Let's go get in trouble, shall we? Oop. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Uh, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me! 
Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere. Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Can we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. That's the idea. So... One down, now we have dogs and kissing to take care of. Although, where is the dog hiding? Well, until we find the dog. Hey, are you open yet? Okay, okay. Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now this timeline is really pissing me off. You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. Always with soup around here. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. You better treat... Hey, hey! Okay, that now, wasn't that... different. You got a cold or something? Ugh. Allergies. I swear there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. Huh. Dog? You yeah. could use that dog. This stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. Uh, no Ugh. thanks. What else falls under the more category? Well, there's the hum burger. It's made from pressed roasted hummus. Do you have any real meat back there? Define real. That's a no. I'm afraid to ask, but what other non-soup food do you have? Anything edible? Well, we have these pea and liver with soy cheese hot dogs. They're new, and we're offering free samples. You want one? Yeah, why not? Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Sounds positively revolting. Ugh. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh. Mostly. About this dog, hmm. what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little S.O.B. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. Well, let's see. You sure there's a dog around here? Listen, smart boy. There's only two things I'm allergic to. Dogs and disco, and I don't hear no chicka bow wow, do you? No. Then it's a dog. Okay. I think that's see all ya. I need, but there's a Smell dog around later. here, huh? Let's take a look. There's... There's a dog. Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! <laughs> And it was ah, Einstein. Go get him, McFly. 
Einstein hanging out behind the... Huh. Let's see if we can follow Einstein, huh? He's gotta be hiding in here somewhere. I bet you're under here. Hmm. <laughs> Not a sign of him. <laughs> Smart dog. Ah, good old Einstein. Well, we need to... Let's try this again, huh? I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Let's see if we can get Einstein to show up again. There he went. There he goes again. Let's see if we can look behind the other pile this time, huh? Where could he be hiding? Stay put now, boy. Wherever you are. And he's hiding Not over there this time, huh? Well, it appears we can't just simply get him to show himself. I if we had a way to track him instead of having him track everything else. Paint. Gives me an idea. Since she's not going to miss her can of paint yet. What we are going to do is lay down a coat of fresh paint over here. And when Einstein runs off. When Einstein runs over this board. It would look better blue. Yep. When Einstein runs over this board. Footprints. So let's go back now. Yeah. -ha. Now we're in business. And the footprints lead right behind the table, huh? Outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einy. Well, since we need to befriend him. Look, Einy, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. That muzzle off of him. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Hmm. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? That is what it is. Sicker Einstein. Einstein, wait! No! Oh, rabies! Rabies, help! Back! Down! Sit! Play dead! Officer Parker! <laughs> do that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of statute 357K. Parker? Demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this 
creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beasts. Don't worry, Einie. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Hmm. Well. I found Einstein, and unfortunately we landed Einstein right back in the kennel. I'm not feeling so good about that part. Oh well. Two big problems... Uh, well, two big ways to get in trouble down, one to go. Now we just gotta convince Jennifer to like us again enough to kiss us. Oh well, that's for next time. Time to cut the video, so... See everyone later. Take care, folks.